Capricorn is probably the most misunderstood constellation in the entire zodiac. This is a direct result of the classical and modern associations with Capricorn and Saturn, and specifically the negative traits that were superimposed onto the planet Saturn much later. To understand this constellation, you need to understand the significance of goats in particular, as well as the fish. On the goat side, goats were and still are used as one of the best sources of milk, which was used since ancient times to make cheese, yogurt, kefir, cream, among other things. Humans and other animals that needed additional milk were often fed and nursed with goat milk. In Greek mythology, it was a goat that nursed Zeus, who later became the king of the gods after he was forced to go into hiding after a prophecy that he would usurp his father's reign. There is only love and nurturing coming out of this goat. There is nothing negative. There is nothing domineering, stubborn. As a matter of fact, goats are not very stubborn at all. While the males will fight like most males of a species will, the kids will usually play fight in their headbutting is actually very playful and non-threatening. Goats are very intelligent. They're very affectionate, very kind animals. They are not stubborn. They are not cold and heartless and domineering. There is nothing to do with this anywhere in this constellation. When we look at this side of Capricorn, we're starting to pull in the fish associations of Enki, the god of knowledge and wisdom, as well as a goddess known as Nanshe or Nunatum, which are both represented in both fish of Pisces. Thus, this side of Capricorn is very civilized, very nurturing, fertile, creative, and again, nothing to do with either side of Capricorn is cold or negative or stubborn. That said, strong Capricorn in a chart will give most people the drive and energy to continue to love and nurture and to pour their passion and drive and focus into whatever it is that they care about, whether that is another person, their family, a project, their career. And so sometimes strong Capricorn will push themselves a little bit harder than others might, but it is coming from a place of love and a desire to want to nurture. A moon in Capricorn indicates that in order to be the happiest, healthiest, and most complete you can possibly be, you must embrace your instinct to love and nurture and to pour your energy into the things and the people that you care about. This is especially favorable for parents, entrepreneurs, and anyone in a healing profession, as well as anybody who focuses on bringing other elements outside of themselves together. And the ways somebody can do that are myriad and vastly outside the scope of this video. A moon in Capricorn will result in very strong empathic connections on a psychic level as well, especially to the people that you are loving and devoting yourself to. I do want to make it clear that while your instinct may be to give well beyond what you have, it's still likely healthy to set some very good boundaries and to make sure you're giving for the right reasons and not out of some misplaced insecurity or or desire to be loved. If those are going to be issues for you, that will be clear elsewhere in your chart.